What's up, pranksters? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys four, no, five pranks that you guys can pull off on friends and family at home. But I gotta warn you guys though that some of these pranks are very extreme. They can be very messy, so you guys are gonna have to prank at your own risk. So if you guys are ready to learn some new pranks, hit that thumbs up button now and check it out. Check it out. <laughs> All right, pranksters, well, let's get started. And for our first prank, we're gonna be booby trapping a styrofoam cup like this one. So let's say one of your older siblings or maybe one of your parents asks you to go get them a cup of Kool-Aid. Yeah, let's, let's use Kool-Aid for this example. So you go to the kitchen and you grab a cup. It could be one of these or it could be a regular cup but it works best with these because you will do damage to them. And it's so simple guys, you're gonna grab a push pin and this is similar to the Pepsi can prank that I did in one of my latest videos. <laughs> but it has a different consequence. So we're gonna take our push pin and we're barely gonna pierce on the center. There's like a little button right there, it's kinda thick like that and it should be able to stand on its own and that's it pranksters fill it up with kool-aid or whatever drink they ask you for and give it to them so this is how the prank is gonna work you give it to them they won't be able to see the bottom because you'll be handing it to them at an angle right so they'll grab it and let's say they want to put it on the counter or on the table so they'll attempt to place it on the table and then let go and it's gonna spill all the contents all over them or all over their stuff so here's the Kool-Aid guys. So give it to your mom or one of your older siblings. So be like, here you go mom, some cold delicious Kool-Aid. And when they place it on the table, this is what's gonna happen. Ugh. I'm starting to hate that sound of spilling. Ugh. This is one of the easiest pranks you guys could ever pull off. So if you guys wanna try it out, go for it, but those are the consequences. So I don't know if you guys are willing to clean this up like I am right now. For our next prank, we're gonna be booby trapping a pencil cup. So if your victim owns one of these pencil cups and this one is a metal one, you don't necessarily need a metal one, but it's easier to pull off this prank because we'll be using a magnet. And all we're gonna do with this magnet is stick it inside the pencil cup right on the edge just like that so if the pencil cup is not made of metal you can still tape it on and the prank will work just as fine also guys the pencil cup has to contain a pair of scissors in there and you're gonna lean the scissors against the magnet like this and then you're gonna take the pencil cup and put it back where it goes and that's it there's not much to this prank when your victim reaches over to grab these scissors this is what's gonna happen he or she's gonna pull them out <laughs> and the scissors are gonna be attracted by the magnet so that while pulling the scissors out, your victim is also gonna be pulling the cup and it's gonna cause everything to fall over. So let's see that again in action. There's the magnet, here are the scissors. And notice that the magnet doesn't attract the scissors just yet because the grips are made of plastic. But when your victim pulls them out like this, see? It, they attach together and it's just gonna flip the pencil cup over and everything's gonna fall down. Simple as that, pranksters. Let's see that again in action. <laughs> see? It grabs it. <laughs> Pretty fun, huh? Up next, we're gonna be booby trapping a gooseneck lamp like this one. If you guys aren't familiar with these, these are very flexible lamps and you can adjust them in any way that you want. They're very handy to have at home, especially on your desk. Well, the way we're gonna be booby trapping this gooseneck lamp is, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the light bulb. We wanna make room to put a cup inside. So, it should look like this. Get rid of the light bulb. You won't need it for this prank. Next, you're gonna bend the lamp backwards like this. So your victim doesn't see what's inside and this is gonna be on their desk. So this is what it should look like. It's gonna look funny, but that's the point. We want them to straighten out the lamp like this. And when they do that, they're gonna be falling for this booby trap. So we're also gonna need a cup. I got a styrofoam cup right here. This is about nine ounces. I'm gonna put it inside like this. And again, I'm gonna bend it backwards, just like this. And guess what? I'm gonna fill it up with rice. 
So this is what the lamp should look like now. It's got the cup with the rice inside the lamp. So when your victim comes over to his desk or her desk and sees the lamp, they're gonna adjust it the right way. And when they do that, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> like I said at the start of this video, this is kinda extreme and it's messy as you guys can see. So this is exactly what's gonna happen to your victim when they adjust that lamp, just like I did. I got rice all over the counter now. It's not fun to clean up because rice is pretty small and it goes everywhere. So it's not that easy to clean up. But yeah guys, that is our result of the booby trap we set up using this gooseneck lamp. This next prank you guys can pull off on your parents. So your parents like to make themselves shakes like these. This is perfect. So you're gonna need access to their tub of powder like I have right here, this is a meal replacement. So I'm gonna open it up for you guys so you guys can take a look inside. And all you guys see is powder and a scoop. This one right here. Well, here's an awesome way that you guys can trick your victims, probably your parents, into consuming something that isn't their shake. So the way we're gonna pull this off is that we're gonna have to take out the scoop, like this, and find a replacement that looks exactly like the powder inside. So for this example, I'm gonna be using some coffee creamer. So I'm gonna open it up, and then I'm gonna pour some into the scoop, like this, and the color is almost identical. So I'm gonna fill it up all the way to the top, just like that, eh, oh well. So here it is guys, this is a full scoop of coffee creamer, not the shake powder, but the coffee creamer. So we're gonna take it full like this, and then we're just gonna lay it down inside that's it guys, look at that. And then all you do is put the cap back on. And that's it. So when your victim comes over and wants to make themselves a shake, they'll open it up, they'll reach in to grab the scoop, and look at that, there's already one in there that's full, so they won't have to dip it in there since it's already full, and then they're just gonna pour, the, pour it into their cup, and then put their fruit in there, blend it, and they think they have a delicious shake but when they take a sip of it it's not gonna be good or actually it might because coffee creamer isn't that bad but it won't be the shake that they'll be expecting though <laughs> so when your victim takes a sip out of the coffee creamer shake they'll come over and investigate what's going on with their shake so they'll probably make another one and realize that this one tasted good all along, but why is this one tasting like coffee creamer? So this is an awesome morning prank you guys can pull off on your parents, an older brother, an older sister, or somebody that likes to make shakes for breakfast. So for our last prank, we're gonna be needing some of these balloons right here. People use these to make balloon animals, as you guys can see right there. So we'll be using these to booby trap a door. Now this one has air, you guys can also use water, so I'm gonna be showing you guys both examples. So what we're gonna do with this balloon is we're gonna sandwich it in between the door and the trim right on the hinge right here. And I'm gonna use the tail to actually tie it on there. And there it is, pranksters. It's kinda snug in there. So let's say somebody on the other room wants to come out or wants to shut this door. When they do shut this door, this is what's gonna happen. Oh, that is loud. <laughs> So yeah, they're gonna freak out when they shut this door because they will not expect a balloon to be there and it makes that really loud sound. Now let's do the demo with a water balloon. But yeah guys, those are the effects of a water balloon. And that's it guys, that's all there is to it. Five simple pranks you guys can easily, easily pull off on friends and family at home. But remember that some of these pranks are kind of extreme, so you guys are gonna have to be careful and prank at your own risk. Also, don't forget that I'm giving away on Xbox One S on Instagram, so follow me on there, real underscore next raker. That's all you guys gotta do to be able to participate in this giveaway. Best of luck to everybody. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. You're also gonna need something that they really love. So right here, I have a video game. Then I'm gonna smoosh it in. <laughs> Oh, nasty. So I'm gonna put more eggs inside. Just throw them in there. Oh, they're, they're easily cracking. Look at that. Yuck. Hmm, Kool-Aid. I got my rice ready right here. 
And I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna make a little mountain. You know, this will ensure that a lot of it's gonna be on the floor. 